What is going on? This is your boy Rich Ladder here. Today we're going to be doing a slightly different video than we normally do on the channel, but I'm going to be providing uh, some help for artists that are looking for ways to use their DSLR cameras and their expensive microphones that they do music with, whether it's uh, something like an AT2020 or something like a Neumann TLM 103, anything with an XLR camera uh, microphone kind of input that looks like this. How do you use it with this? Because you want that good audio, you want that good quality. Now, how do you play the music with your videos at the same time? So what we're gonna do is, you know, show you a, a couple things as far as like the equipment that you'll need. So first, you're gonna need a camera, whether it's you know anything that can take like a microphone. So I have a Lumix, uh, some Panasonic joint, right? So on the side, you've got your microphone output right here, right? So I'll put it a little closer so you can see. See where it says mic right there? Might not be as clear, but. So you're gonna need some type of double-sided headphone jack that has two kind of, you know, on one side and you can plug it into the other. So this is gonna be like the main weapon that you're gonna need. Plug one side into this right here. So you got step one done right there. The other side, you're gonna need to plug this into something, but what are you gonna to need to plug it into? A good thing that you can do um, if you are trying to listen and you know have ultimate control, start investing in something like a splitter. This is a good one. I think I got it on Amazon. I don't know uh, how much. It was only a couple bucks, but you put you know this side into one of these right here. Boom. Now you've got your other space for your headphones if you want to hear yourself. And then this side. So I bet you're wondering like, well, where does this go? So this will go inside your one eighth inch. I believe that's what that is or one fourth, one of them. Usually you can see this side right here. You can plug this in, boom. Now this, you're wondering, well, what do you do with this? You're gonna need some type of interface whether it's a Scarlett, uh, whatever type of audio interface you're working with will work here. For me, I have the Complete Audio 2, so this is it right here. So I'm gonna plug it into my volume section that's usually all the way on the right. And these things are all built the same. Some of them have different you know, buzzers and you know, stuff like that. So right now I have a microphone plugged in right here, which is the AT2020. So that's the microphone that's gonna be coming through my camera here. So I'm recording this on my phone here. So the cool thing is now the microphone that I'm using here is connected to the camera. So what I'm gonna do is like turn up, I have it set to uh, my speakers here. So I'm gonna turn this up and you guys are gonna be able to hear the difference. So one, two, three, four, and this is coming out of my speakers back here. So as you can see, this microphone is on via the camera. All right, so you guys, I'm gonna tap on the microphone so you can watch the lines go up on the mic. So that means that it is getting audio from the microphone here. So the cool thing with this, if you're like a beat maker or producer or anything like that, and I'm going to get this out of my way real quick. <laughs> the cool thing, um, like the, the reason I wanted to make this video is show you guys the extra step, because it's like, oh, okay, cool, I can have, you know, I can talk and do things like that. That's that's a great step in itself. So if you're like someone like me and you're like, man, I, I want, you know, I don't want to make the beats out loud. I want to make them to where it sounds like I'm listening to them in the headphones. How do I do that? Well, um, make sure your uh, audio interface has two outputs. I know some of the Scarlet ones, they only have one for um, like uh, for like your, your XLR and then they have one for the MIDI. So what you're going to need is that full slot. You're going to need another one of these and then another uh, wire that will pick up both sides. So one that was cool for me came with my Rode microphone uh, that you stick on the camera. This is like one I'm on the go and I want some good audio. But what this is, this plugs in right here, and you plug this into the box. This side will go into your output wherever you're playing the music from. So uh, I know most people have phones that don't have headphone jacks, but maybe you're playing it off your laptop. That's where you want to like make your beats off of. So, so we're gonna hook that up real quick, and I'll show you. All right, 
So I've got my Rode microphone thing here. And mind you, you can use any type of, if you had another one of these, you can use that as well. This end needs to go into wherever you're plugging it into, your laptop, maybe your phone, anything that will, it'll get you that high quality audio that you're doing there. I'm gonna plug this in and show you guys what happens when you're playing some music off your laptop or any other type of device here. All right, now I've got the speakers turned down, but I've got the microphone here still going. So what I'm gonna do is turn down the vocals so you won't hear that coming through. All right, now what I'm gonna do is play the instrumental to where you see on the camera, the microphone lines go up. What that did was record it directly into the camera. You guys heard it out loud, but that recorded it directly into the camera. And for anyone that is making any type of producer videos, this is a great like thing to make your stuff sound even better. And, and you know, you're giving the audience the same thing you're hearing, not like an out version of that. So I uh, just wanted to make this video to help folks out. Um, so make sure that you guys are, you know, subscribed to the channel. If you like this video, check out some of the beat making videos and all that. But that is some of the equipment that I work with. That is what I use for some of my beat breakdown videos. They come out really nice and, um, you'll have to, you know, figure out how you want to record it as far as like OBS and, uh, editing software and all that. But yeah, that's what you'll need. Anyway, my name is Rich. I'm about here. Peace.